this week. I'm going to start off with the uh, technical arm bar. So basic wise, a lot of times, uh, one of the things that set it up for me is I, I have posture broken down a little bit. And the elbow position has changed. Sometimes this can happen because I'm, I'm using a head control, but I have them leaning forward a little bit. The basic, I'm gonna control the wrist, reach over and overhook the elbow. I wanna pull this elbow across, but she wants to put weight on it and keep it stuck on my hip here. So I'm gonna create space by bridging my hips up, and when I drop them, I can pull it across a little bit. If I do this a bunch of times, I shake and bake, I can start to bring that arm across. I want to, at that point, control her ability to sit up. There's different ways to do it. I like to control the neck or the top part of the neck, lower part of the skull. Um, right now, my hips are close to her, and this gives her, even if I'm holding on, the ability to sit up. And, and mechanically, I am fighting the strength of her torso. So if I'm in this position and I'm giving her a hug, I can walk a little bit until I can get a foot in the hip and I make myself taller. And then I can make, I can make a connection to her through my arms and my body. So if she lifts, mechanically it's a lot harder for her just because of the mechanical line. So once I've got to that point, I want to try to get under this elbow here. If it's tight, I can always roll underneath like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm using the top of the knee joint to kind of kick underneath it. Now when they're helping you do the technique, a lot of times they'll, they'll give that to you. And I'm just gonna shake and bake as I turn my body. I can use that foot on the other side to do that. If I am too close to them at this point, the same thing can happen. She can start to sit up. It's a good mechanical line for her. If I can scoot higher, and I'd like to use that foot to stop her from following me, same, same leverage lines are happening. I come over, just finish the move. So, wrist and elbow. Shake and bake, control. Don't want to cross the feet. Uh, this allows her to raise her head up. You know, if the spine can lead or the head can come up, it's a beginning of a stack for her. So sometimes they'll just say, don't cross the feet. But what we're looking for, if she raises her head up, if I have them uncrossed, I can almost send energy that way. Finish the move. Repeats. Technical arm bar. One, two, three.